The three, Elijah Ojuma Girimani, George Onyango and Paul Ondari, are facing over eight counts, among them conspiracy to evade payment of duty, making false entries and procuring uncustomed goods. But even as the trio appeared in court, questions are emerging over the Kenya Revenue Authority's failure so far to seize 105 vehicles that were reportedly sneaked into the country. According to KRA, only 19 vehicles have been taken under its custody, despite the commission issuing surrender notices to their owners nearly six months ago. Kerry Commissioner General John Jiraine told Citizen TV that the commission was in talks with the police to expedite the seizure and clearance of the vehicles still at large. We would like to urge the police and the NTSC to intensify efforts so that uh, these vehicles are removed from our roads. But police spokesman Charles Owino absolved the force from blame. He said although the police had seconded an entire unit to carry, the commission had not sought extra help in expediting the seizures of the targeted vehicles. As we speak, they have uh, officers who are seconded within care and were in service. If their vehicles which have been deregistered, then they could be everywhere in the country. And therefore, it becomes an obligation of each and every police officer who spots that vehicle to have it arrested. The suspects who appeared in court today are accused of helping importers of high-end cars evade duty. George Onyango, a KRA officer, is accused of helping to illegally clear water CSU Ginomalo's Range Rover. The three denied all the counts before Chief Magistrate Daniel Ogembo and were released on bond. Girimani and Onyango were released on a three million bond and one surety of a similar amount or one million shillings cash bill each and Paul Ondari was released on a two million bond and one surety of a similar amount or 500,000 cash bill. Michael Jenga for Citizen Weekend.